Uh, I mean, today was good. Obviously, the first day we got all the summer league guys on the court together. So, you know, going over new things, learning what we're going to do down in Vegas. So that was fun. Obviously, we all just getting used to this altitude, mm-hmm. going up and down, you know, getting, getting used to that slack. But um, it's been good. Uh, first week, got some workouts in, you know, explore the city a bit. It's been fun. What stood out about practice today? I, got, I couldn't hear the question. Sorry, my bad. Uh, I would just say just, you know, like I said, getting used to the outs are going up and down. That's the main thing. Obviously, all of us, we're not used to it. So, uh, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pay dividends down in Vegas. We're uh, closer to sea level. But um, that was the main thing. Obviously, just learning new terminology, learning uh, Denver Nuggets basketball. It's the main thing. What do you hope to show during summer league personally on an individual level? Uh, just play my game, you know, obviously being a lead shooter, not down shooter. Uh, playing off ball, being a great teammate, and making plays that, that can help my team win. That's the main thing I'm focused on, you know, just playing my game, being myself, not trying to step out uh, out of my boundaries. I noticed Jamal Murray was in the gym. Was he running with you guys? What was it like to get a chance to play alongside him? Yeah, uh, second quarter came around and, and Maul subbed in on the other team. Uh, I mean, that's obviously really cool uh, for him as, as an all-star kind of guy, just to be able to step in with the summer league guys and, and get up and down a bit. Uh, he talked to us, he kind of talked to me uh, through some plays and, you know, told me little things. So uh, I appreciate the advice he's given. And, you know, it's a big time for him to come out here and step out here on the court with us. How's the chemistry developing between the Oh, I mean, this is our first full day with everybody on the court together. But um, I know me and the rest of the rookies, me and Jay, uh, Jalen and, and Hunter, we've been, we've been in here together. Uh, Colin and P.Y. have been around too. So, you know, we've been able to be on the court a little bit, you know, play, feel each other's games out some. It's been fun. What's it kind of like to just step in here and, and be part of the first practice for you? first pro practice, right? I mean, what kind of feelings did you have? Yeah, uh, obviously it's huge. Uh, it's something that you dream of and think of and, and know we're here, you know, in, in the facility, you know, working out. Like, I got nuggets across my chest right now. I mean, that's huge. So, uh, I mean, it's a dream come true and it's nothing but blessings. What's, uh, what's Jalen like as a point guard? Uh, I mean, he's a bully. You know, uh, that's his main thing. He bullying dudes, uh, bagging them down under the basket. But at the same time, he a real great floor general. I feel like it's an underrated aspect of his game. You know, people, People don't really realize how good he is at controlling tempo and pointing dudes in the right direction. So, you know, especially today on the court in the scrimmage, you know, he did a great job of just putting dudes in the right place. And, you know, he's just a winning player. Did he bully you or was he on your team? No, no, no. He ain't bullying me. Okay. He ain't bullying me. <laughs> All right. Did you sense a, a hunger from P. Watt? You know, he was here last year, didn't get a lot of playing time, but this is kind of his yeah and he's one of those guys that he just plays with a lot of fire you know no matter what it is you know uh he, he's a winner uh he plays super aggressive that's just the attitude he carries himself with so um especially being out here being a guy that has a year under his belt uh i'm expecting big things from him down in vegas julian do you have any mentors in the league do you have any prior relationships with people you can lean on guys who are already here and established uh i don't know about guys currently uh obviously i got a couple gonzaga guys like Corey kispert uh yeah things like that. But um, my main mentor was uh, Quincy Pondexter, retired, uh, retired a couple years ago, but obviously he had a nine-year career and, you know, he's seen a lot of things, played in a lot of playoff games. And uh, so just being able to pick pick his brain and, and learn some things. Julian, so you guys started the Red Rocks workouts, so your, your introduction to the team, what was that like, just, just getting used to the altitude? Uh, I mean, on the drive there, I kind of didn't know where we were going, um, <laughs> but it was beautiful when we got there. Uh, like the scenery's crazy. So I was taking that in for a second, and then we got straight to work. Um, obviously, the air is real thin up there. Uh, not used to it. Uh, uh, definitely not Vegas. So it uh, started raining and hailing during the workout. We had to finish our workout in the, in the hail. Felt like I was in a Rocky movie or something like that. But uh, I know it was a good time, though, and we, and we need it. We need it. You know, just get used to the altitude and, you know, get in the right shape. Just to clarify, they didn't tell you you're going to Red Rocks or you didn't know where Red Rocks was? Uh, we knew I, we were going there, but I just had no clue where it was. And, you know, I looked out the window, I didn't know where I was at. You said it as if you got into a van and they just took you somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it was early morning, so I was kind of, you know, dazed, whatever, looked out the window, I was, right. yeah, it was, a, it was like a postcard. What's your first day like in Vegas and what that's going to mean to you? Oh, you know, it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of familiar faces in the crowd, obviously family, friends, uh, you know, growing up, me and my friends with the Summer League every year, you know, we just stay up there for hours, just running back and forth between Cox and uh, Thomas and Mac. So, um, you know, just having that memory and then having them come back and be able to watch me play there, I mean, that's like a, another dream come true. Like, literally, I watch Summer League every year, been there every year, and now I get to play in it.
Julian, I think you said you were exploring Denver a little bit. What does that mean? And, and you know, where did uh, you wander around to? Uh, I mean, the main thing was finding finding a couple food places. Uh, I went I went to Tavernetta. Yeah. Went there. It was really good. Uh, it was a burger spot. I think we went to the other day. It was also really good. I don't remember the name of it. And then. Uh, yeah, just kind of just seeing what's around here. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, with an apartment hunt and things like that, yeah. so kind of get familiar with the area. Everything's kind of close by, which is really good. So I enjoyed it ever so far. Thank you. Thanks, oh, thank appreciate you. It. Appreciate you.